<laughs> praise the Lord. The Lord is so interested in everything that life is doing in the body of Christ. He is one with his body. Of course, he wants to know. He's interested in that because he wants to bless us. Our Father is such a blesser. <laughs> you know, when he says in the book of Revelation, all the blessings and honor, and sometimes I, I, mean, I used to think blessings? I mean, he's blessing everybody. Why is he getting blessed? Because he sows. He pours blessing. He loves to bless. And then what comes back to him is the river of blessings. And then he blesses more. <laughs> he is a blesser. And you are too. <laughs> you cannot wait for an opportunity to bless others. Bless the body of Christ. Take some time today. Just think about, they are part of you. <laughs> I had someone recently that wrote to me something so hurtful. I don't think I had anyone in my life, and that's somebody that I thought I helped and I blessed. And probably is not the, the first one, but... <clears throat> and so, so hurtful with caps written in that message and... Um, some, somehow uh, I, I tried to kind of respond and say and of course talk to Donna, my wife, and she says, why, why do you want to respond? Because anything that you respond, that means you are fighting the same weapons as his. <laughs> to bless, it doesn't mean to handle the curse and try to redirect it and make it smoother and nicer. <laughs> That's not... Bl blessing is purely, yes, you are blessed. No matter what comes out of your mouth, you are so blessed. In, so it's, it's interesting how we try to deal with that type of stuff. So, we, we're taking a few of these uh, uh, discussion sessions and we look at how to bless the body of Christ, how to release in the body the power of being well, the power of being well and healed and prosper as we prosper in the soul, prosper in the body. It's for the whole body of Christ. Yes, with this uh, pandemic and everything, I don't think I've seen so many sicknesses. Maybe, maybe just because of social media and news, but we hear so many sicknesses and deaths. And sweet, special brothers and sisters, so much is spreading. I think we are at the place where we can release life into that body. And he talked about a few ways to do that. One is intercession. Go back and listen to that. Another one is living and speaking righteousness and righteously. Very good, important secret there. Okay. And then another one was about agreement, the faith fusion, being in agreement. And today is the fourth one. <clears throat> how to release something that's placed by the Lord in His body. We release it to all the rest of the body to bring healing. And this number four is the praying in the Spirit. Yes, intercession has some of that. Yes, speaking righteousness has some of that. Um, yes, agreement and faith has some of that. Because this is in the Spirit. And this is the point I want to make. Let's read this in uh, Ephesians 6. We know and it's preached so much 
um, so much about uh, the sword and the helmet and the breastplate and it's rightfully so but let me read to you verse 18 and 19 Ephesians 6 through the instrumentality of every prayer and supplication for need praying at every season by means of the Spirit and maintaining a constant alertness in the same with every kind of unremitting care and supplication for all the saints. See, this is releasing that in the body of Christ for all the saints. And on behalf of me, says Paul, says Val, <laughs> on behalf, in order that there might be given me utterance in the opening of my mouth, in every fearless, confident freedom of speaking to make known the mystery of the good news. So, <clears throat> it talks about all the other parts of the armor, Take this, take that, use that. And then he says, through the instrumentality of, that's his waste, but basically what means more in English is that every spiritual weapon that he was talking about in previous verses is sharpened, strengthened, and even in use with the continuous prayer. The prayer in the Spirit is actually creating that place, that area where the armor can function in. The sword, the breastplate, you can talk so much about how important is righteousness, how important is the breastplate, how important is the helmet. But without this prayer in the spirit that envelops, that comprehends, that involves every single one of these weapons, everything is done in the atmosphere, in the sphere of prayer in the spirit there is not just fight to that put that on everything is coming together in the armor of the spirit by prayer prayer in the spirit this is the life flowing into the whole body of Christ through this prayer together with the intercession <clears throat> the intercession somehow the way I see it and I explain it uh, the Spirit the Holy Spirit's intercession the Lord Jesus intercession somehow from the Spirit comes from the Lord into the body into the soul of the body if you want now, prayer in the Spirit, somehow it continues this. And by the power of the Spirit, takes it and sends it in. Spreads it in the body of Christ. Have you ever had this imagination, this revelation, this vision, when you are praying, praying in the Spirit, that you are a cell, a red cell in the, in the blood, the blood which is the life of the body of Christ, and you are the little cell. Did you see yourself traveling through those arteries, <laughs> coming through the veins? That's such a special experience. Uh, try that. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you that. Because this is such a blessing. This is where I can go. Even to that brother that said whatever. 
can take that garbage out <laughs> and live some life, live some love and forgiveness. This is the the power of the praying in the spirit. It goes from member to member. It touches every member of the body of Christ. How awesome is that? And of course I'm going to mention this because we, we talk about this and it's one of our key verses. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 um, 45. So it's, it is written the first Adam became a living being, a living soul. The last Adam became a life giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural. And afterward, the spiritual. Maybe some things that we are hearing now are coming to you after. After trying a prophetic life, a minister life, a Christian life, trying to understand everyone, minister to here and minister to there, being the best that the Lord helped you to be. And what you are hearing now is an afterword, which is the way the Spirit ministers, life-giving Spirit. And this is how the Lord is. As He is, so are we. Oh yes, it's, it's power to heal the body. But it's so much more than that. We are life-giving spirits. Because that's exactly how He is. That's how He is in heaven. Yeah, it's no no cases that he has to resurrect in heaven. Everybody's alive, <laughs> right? But as we are life-giving spirits, everything of death moves away. Every root of sinning, sickness gets uprooted, and every curse, it's broken. Let the body of Christ be blessed. The Lord is sending through us, through our unity, through the vision He gives us, lots of blessing into the whole body. And you are part of that body and you receive that. Say, I receive that, Lord. I receive the healing for my mind, for my soul, for my body. I receive it and I give it more into the rest of the body. Yes, this is the blessing. Love you.